This is a service maintenance overview of Cloud Suite Industrial, also known as CSI or Sightline. As you can see, the features of CSI service maintenance is very comprehensive and covers quite a diverse range of needs. It all starts with identifying the unit or piece of equipment that needs service or maintenance. Here you see a full 360 degree view of that piece of equipment. You can see any previous preventative maintenance, who currently owns it, who previously owned it, any incidents from a call center, and any open or prior service request orders, along with other key information. This all builds to the unit configuration. Here you see a complete list of all materials used to build and maintain this unit. So when your customer calls for help, you know the exact configuration of their equipment and are in a much better position to help them. And by the way, that customer may be an internal customer, like a department, or an external customer. Maybe services are just for warranty and maintenance, or it's a full profit center. Either way, once you're ready, you define service contracts to maintain the equipment. This may include special rates for billing, or parts, or labor, or other expenses, like travel. You can also identify any warranty policies and set up preventative maintenance schedules. Often the service activity starts with an incident made to a call center. Here you can track the representative responsible for this unit, where it's located, and all the history involved. There are a number of user-defined codes to set the priority and other values for the incident, as well as access to a built-in knowledge base, which is helpful in resolving the issue at hand. If needed, a service order can be created to have a service technician perform the needed repairs. You can look up and enter multiple reasons and resolutions for each incident. These are all defined by you and can be helpful in resolving repeat issues. You can look up and enter events. These are all user defined, but some examples could be scheduling a consultant, dispatching a partner, and so on. This is where you track all the activity against that incident. You can track escalations with text, emails, and other communication methods. This provides an important history in tracking how you reacted to this specific incident. With service contracts, you're in control of how you maintain equipment. You define the service level, whether that's silver, gold, diamond, or basic and advanced. You set priority codes, billing details, and coverage hours. You identify the units or equipment that are covered. You can also build preventative or planned maintenance right into the contract and you determine if that activity is included or billed separately. Service request orders are where you plan and report actual services. At a high level, you have an SRO that describes the service and some general billing details. Then you have lines that identify the specific equipment or units that need service. The operations describe the tasks, like replacing specific parts or performing calibrations. You define these, and you can use templates to save even more time. Maybe you need to inspect the unit before you determine the task. You can use the optional inspections to help you plan for this. Then you define the materials, labor time, and any expenses that are expected. This is where you can also schedule a technician to perform the service. That may be an employee or an assigned partner. Then you report time as work is performed and materials are consumed along with any expenses. Once that's done, any needed billing can take place. All this is configurable to your needs. Let's take a look at the service order. Here you have a summary of what services are needed, along with any general billing and service codes. You can define which unit or units need service. Then you can see each operation or task that's planned for that service order. From here, you schedule the work. You can report transactions like time, materials, and expenses. You also have the ability to do that on a mobile device. There are mobile specific forms that adjust to the proper screen size, great for use in the field. Next, you can perform any necessary billing and all that activity is tracked back to the unit being serviced. As you can see, the service maintenance functionality is very robust. You can take advantage of as much or as little as you need. That's a quick overview of CSI service maintenance. Thanks for watching.